All right, cool. Hey guys, I'm Harvey, and uh, sorry the it's a little lackluster the first one. I mean, I only see I see three people are watching. I think I'm one of them. And oh, hey, hey, we got two people watching, four people watching. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, yeah, how's it going, guys? Um, we are uh, we're doing this live thing now. We're uh, I'm gonna on Wednesdays. I'm just gonna sit here. And wait for people to come in. It's been a slow day. I don't have anyone in here. Figured lunch break would be a good time. But yeah, as you guys come in, you know, you can we can talk about what you're reading, what are you picking up, what are you excited about. Usually this is a little busier time. Anyway, we'll talk about the stuff that I read this week. I didn't get to read a whole lot of stuff. Um, but John is on Twitter right now. Um, not that uh, he necessarily wants me to tell everyone, but... He's on Twitter, and he just tweeted at Vault. Um, and he tweeted about plot, which was really exciting, and um, he's he's excited. So we'll start off with 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 Vault. Then Vault Comics is a great up and coming, and up and coming in that they're uh, they're producing some amazing content. And they're they're trying to get their foothold in in the uh, in the market, and they're doing a really great job, in my opinion. And um, the most gratuitous sounding, but not as gratuitous as it sounds, book that they've got, Money Shot. This was amazing. I mean, yeah, it's got some sexy stuff in it, but it's not just about sex. I mean, sort of. But it's really good. It's, it's, it's humorous. The art is amazing. It's gorgeous. The, uh, the writing is a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, I think you should check it out. Hey, John's watching. We were just talking about you on Twitter, man. Um, also, I actually read The Amazing Mary Jane. Um, it's taken off in her, uh, her Hollywood lime life, limelight life. Um, and it's not just a, hey, Spider-Man's doing a lot better these days, let's put Mary Jane in a book. Um, there is some relevance to that, so I think you should check that out, right? That's, that's one that I read. Um, let's see here. I also read... Hey, John says, uh, talk about good timing. Tune in just in time to hear Vault mention LO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I started off with Vault, John, because I saw your tweet come through um, talking about Vault Comics on Twitter. So, Spider-Man Full Circle. Uh, I was a little worried about this because I'm not a fan of just a bunch of tiny vignette type stuff. And But it's got, you know, it, it's really dang good. Um, and, I mean, you see turning into a werewolf at one point. It, and... So I, I, I obviously need to come up with a, a kind of a format for this, and it helps when I got people to sit here. Um, maybe once Brianna yes, sir. is done doing whatever she's done in the back, she can talk about what she read last week. She's slacking into hey. anything this week. Is um, that okay? That's fine, but full circle like was great. Teas? And the exciting one for me, believe it or not, I had three spider-related titles to take on this week, and uh, the one that got me was actually Immortal Hulk number 25. It was... I gotta come up with a non-Marvel adjective. What adjectives hasn't have not been used in in Marvel comics? The uh, it's not, but that that's on par with amazing, fantastic. It's I don't know. Oh, uh, my daughter is trying to boop my snoot, so I will I'll, I'll boop you behind you. Boop. All right. Um, for the Immortal Hulk, they're introducing the new Marvel Cosmos. Uh, just to celestial stuff in general and um the oh man just look at that i know this sounds like stuff that we watched last night but um immortal hulk is one that i love and i always i don't get a chance to read as quickly as i'd like but reading through this it was fantastic what's going on guys so if any of you are interested if you picked up or if you're picking up some comics are you here for games i'm here for games all right because we're well if you want to talk about what you're picking up, Tuesday, or Wednesdays, it's Wednesday, we're starting this thing where you can get on the video and talk about what you're picking up and why you're excited about it. Or you can be totally cool with, I'm not getting on camera with you, weirdo. We'll see. It depends <laughs> if you've got, I don't know what I'm looking for. All right. I'm looking for something to possibly make my players for D&D really bright. Ooh. Really so. Well, we'll we've see. got some open box minis right there. Those, right there, that those entire shelves. Oh, fantastic. Yep. If you have any questions, let me know, man. Or let her know. Or just, you know, shout them into the ether. All right? Stupendous? No, I think they've used Stupendous, John. Um, I don't know. Well, Brianna's here. 
What you got? What you got to talk about, Chica? I read. Gonna destroy these. What'd you read? <laughs> what is that? Spider Verse. Spider Verse. Had me giggling the entire time. Giggling, giggling like a schoolgirl, or giggling like <laughs> you heard a dirty word for the first time. That one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're like. <laughs> And I think I was reading it in front of Harvey, actually. So they just, oh, that's what that was. Yeah. He okay. Had, he had a play-by-play -play of like, what? Oh, what? <laughs> roller coaster of emotions on that one. <laughs> and of course, I loved it, and it was. I wanted to say spectacular, and I think that was subconscious. Um, yeah, that's okay. But it was. I, I giggled through the whole thing. I really enjoyed it. It was a good setup. It was. It was a lot for like a lot of kind of the same joke for a setup, but one that was not. It didn't get on my nerves. Good. It didn't annoy me. I thought it was really funny. It was done very clever. I actually, um, I haven't read number two yet. <gasps> I know. Shameless. Sh number two. Wait, I, I got that. Hold on. No, because that's not shameless, because there's a book shameless. Very funny. Hold on, hold on a second. All out right Hold on. <clears throat> I got one. Shame. 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 Your bell is broken. <laughs> it is. Hey, Tacker's watching. What up, Tacker? You know, if, if Tacker came in and picked up his books, he'd have something to talk about. <gasps> Come out and pick up some stuff. I miss you. Exposed. This is exposed. Okay. There's families watching. Your it's just family. my family. But They get uh, worse at home. I really, I really enjoyed this. I really like their... Um, I really like their father son. The family dynamic? Yeah. Yeah. What well, hold on, hold on. Go back two pages. No, 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 no. I didn't even see that panel. What? Okay. It immediately turns around and he, he needs another one. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> there's there's more than one. Okay. There's more than one spider suit. Oh, don't shut up. Let's try um, not to give anything away. That could be literally anything. That could be anything. Just for that. Getting booped. No. You will be booped by the end of your shift. Uh, but <laughs> oh, our, our numbers went down. I think Tacker left when I called him out. Oh, well, you probably shouldn't be mean to people on camera. Not mean to him. Mean to people. But, anyways, I really, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I, of course, I wish they came out more often because I'm. This is what I try to. I try to actually fall behind intentionally so I can just binge through a couple. Yeah. But this was one where I was really excited after I read the last one to get on top of the next one. So I, I didn't even take it back to the counter. I stood in front of the shelves and I just read it. So you did what, if a customer did, would be considered stealing. Yes. Yeah. I absolutely. For those of you that didn't know, if you, I, I'm looking over there like because I see people on the on the TV behind the counter. So yeah. well, that's not us. Yeah. We're over here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you pick up a shelf off the off the rack at a comic shop, you, you just start you flipping through it. Pick up a shelf off the rack. I'll fire you. If you pick a comic off the rack at a shop and just start flipping through it, it's fine if you're flipping through it. Make sure you like the art. But if you just start reading it, cover to cover, you've stolen that it's book. Kind of theft. theft. I definitely never did Absolutely. it with manga at Books a Million as a yeah. kid. I would never. Would you though? You have you? I was so poor. <laughs> I did end up going back and reading them, but uh, it doesn't matter because I bought it anyways. Well, there you go. Buying it. So you stole it and then you paid paid for it. Yeah. That's like I went to. Uh, yeah. That's like me going to the the drugstore and stealing a Snickers bar, taking it home, eating it, and then coming back to the wrapper and going, you know, I did like it. I'll go ahead and pay for it. Except that doesn't work because they will still just charge you for theft. You can't do the right thing after you've done the wrong thing when it comes to uh, when it comes to shopping. But let me. Let me prove. I think I've read more than that. She's like, let me go steal some more stuff. I can't. Yeah, my memory's not spectacular. Not like Spider-Man number two? Or not like uh, Spider-Verse number one? Yeah. 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 Hey, Wong's watching. What's going on? Tell him to get his long box. He has a long box. Oh, yeah. Well, he's, he needs a second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or was it graded? I don't remember. What did you need? Yeah, I got it on a list. I don't know. I got it on a piece of paper. But, yeah. So what are you guys reading? You can talk. That's cool. Just because Brianna doesn't care and no one else wants to walk in. Oh, is this one for us? Oh, Rick and Morty D and D though. Oh yeah, Rick and Morty D and D. That was good. Can you bring me a copy? What? Can you bring me a copy?
Ask her if she wants to be on the show. Do you want to join the show? Okay. We're live. We're live! We're reading comics. We're talking about them. Oh my gosh. I didn't see this cover. How did I miss this cover? I don't know, but it's great. It's, okay, you got a, be you got a beholder, Rick, right? And he's screaming, I'm a beholder, Rick! My eye stocks are juicy! I don't want to think of anything on Rick being juicy. Um, but I really like these uh, these D and D covers because they um, have character sheets and they're they're real character sheets too. Like they, you know, can legitimately get get these stats. You multi class like a boss. Level five wizard, level five fighter. Why don't you just go Eldritch Knight, you jerk? Oh my gosh, and he's raging. It's another raid. What's going on, man? Yeah, that's the exception. The, um, John says uh, he needs a long box still, and we have one each long and graded on hand for him. Yeah, what, what John said. Uh, Gutter Magic and Source, uh, from Source Sprite Press was a great one that came out this week, too. Yeah, I remember you were talking about that. I, I haven't read it yet. Um, I've, I've started to become a real big fan of Source Point Press. Uh, that's the cool thing about these, these these little publishers, and I don't mean don't mean diminutively little. I, I just mean little in the sense that they're not the big two. And I'm Marvel. They're not DC. They're not Im Image. Image has got the I think the third largest. Am I in your way, buddy? No. All right, cool. Uh, I'm saying if y'all had Yu-Gi-Oh cards. No. No. You know, uh, I mean, we can carry it. It's just we don't have a market for it. So. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt. This is possibly also a John thing. Um, Pokemon. What about? She's asking when it is. I, we had someone come up. We um, have Pokemon on. Thir is it Thursday? Okay. Uh, it's, so it's, uh, you know, I happen to be on our Facebook right now. Let me let me let me uh, check right quick. Uh, I I think we just put it on for Thursdays. Because uh, I know we had someone. League at the Multiverse. Last um, We've got it. Uh, yeah, we're going to be starting to do a thing on Sundays. We don't have anyone, a coordinator for that one right now, though. Okay. Uh, but we do have it. Um, come on, let me just go to events. Like, why won't you show my events? Multiverse. Boop. If only I had my coordinator, like, right here with me. Uh, there we go. Events. Boop, boop, boop. This is how horrible I am. I don't. Yeah, it was Thursdays. Yeah, so Thursdays at six o'clock. Okay. It's a five dollar entry fee, and okay. then everyone gets a pack for participating, a promo as well. Okay. So yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Very Thank you. Much. Uh, so we actually have a couple of people who come in to play Yu-Gi-Oh, but they don't buy packs, so it's like. All the good ones are in the old packs. Yeah. That's yeah. why you gotta go through singles to find the good ones. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, we we haven't really had much of uh, a market for Yu-Gi-Oh, and in the beginning when we did. Uh, a lot of them were taking stuff home that they didn't pay for. Oh, so okay. it's like you know what? We're just not going to support that community. <laughs> um, but more recently, we've been having more and more adults coming up to play. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're interested in getting together with some other guys up here to play, um, I can get a, I can get some games going. Yeah, like you were talking about five dollars entry, winner takes yes. all. Yeah, well, yeah. so <laughs> usually with like that and Magic, it's five dollar entry, and you guys get like a pack per win. All right. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, send me a message on Facebook. That way I can uh, get I'm you on Facebook, but I'll send my wife. She does all the internet stuff. Okay, uh, <laughs> take my card. I got my email address. It's in the it's in the Iron Throne right there in front of the computer. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Um, and yeah, have uh, have have her send me an email, and I'll get you guys uh, hooked up. All right, y'all are new here, right? Yeah. Uh, this location. Yeah. Our great opening Because we. Hey, Colton. Glad you asked. Um, Oh, did you have a question? Yeah. What's up? Uh, do you guys have the booster packs for minis? Yeah. Uh, no, we sold them all out, and all we got left are the, the open ones. But we do have some of the higher price ones if you're looking for, like, the, the bigger guys um, in the glass case with them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then what kind of, um, do you guys have any community starting up as far as, like, the miniature war gaming and stuff? Yeah, so we actually have a War Machine and Hordes group that meets up on Wednesdays here. Okay. Uh, Wednesday evenings, at, usually at 6 o'clock. Um, and we have a Facebook group for that, for our, our tabletop wargaming. And we're, we actually just got off the phone last night with our uh, Warhammer, um, our Games Workshop rep, and we're going to be starting to get some of that in, in here pretty soon. Okay, cool. Okay. Warhammer's what I have traditionally done. Okay, are you on Facebook? Been a minute. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, go to our Facebook page and then look at our groups, and we got a tabletop wargaming group. It's for all of them. So just hop yeah, in there, yeah. and then when we make an announcement, you'll see it there. I'll take a look. Right on. All right, guys, hold up. Colton, I got something for you. I get this 
next to the toilet. Yeah, there you go. We can hook you up. Yeah, no, no. Uh, Colton, we absolutely do, and I believe this is the one you're looking for. But tell you what, it says uh, it says 50 bucks on there. But if you come in and say you saw it on the show, we'll uh, we'll say we'll shave some of that off for you, buddy. Uh, yeah. Oh man, they are gorgeous. I we we don't sell very many of this book, but the uh, oh man, it's um, we've been waiting for this. We saw saw it originally solicited, I think, in June or July, and just lost our minds. And we were selling it pretty cheap initially, but the price has been going up as it's been getting closer to release date. Hey, Dave's watching. What up, Dave? But yeah, Colton, come on down. Talk to us. Tell them that you saw it on the show, and we're going to save some shave some money off that for you. But we also just got in some really nice stuff from um, New York Comic Con. It took a little bit to get here, but um, we got that Ghost Rider number one, Comic Con exclusive. Ooh. We'll save this one. This one's my favorite. Um, we got that... Uh, that um, I think that's, uh, yeah, that's Phil Tan that did that one. Phil Tan, Phil Tan. Uh, J. Scott Campbell doing that House of X number five. Whew. And these things are, are limited to uh, 2,500. Or this one's 2,500. This is number 646. And um, we've got number 618 of 1,500 on that Ghost Rider. And this one is my favorite right here. I love it. When artists utilize negative space, and so that's um, Strike Force number one, and this one's limited to six six five of two thousand. And we do have two each of these, so if you're interested in any of them, come on down. Uh, he's asking, what's the shave off price? Uh, LOL. I'm home with a sick toddler, so can't get out there till later when my wife is home. I totally feel you, man. Uh, tell you what, I'll, I'll shave 15% off of that, so what, what is that? That's uh, like seven and a half bucks. Uh, 49 times 0.15. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, they'll be 42.50, buddy. Um, and and they're, they're going for uh, 50 plus bucks online. We try to stay competitive with that. But, um, yeah, we'll take care of you, man. Um, and I, I totally feel you with the sick toddler. I've, I've got an 18-month-old at home, and it, it breaks my heart. And it's so rough when she's sick. Can't really do anything but just love on him. Um, Preston's watching. What up, Preston? Preston needs to get some of that Rick and Morty D&D &D action going on there. Because his eye stocks are juicy. <laughs> um... But yeah, so that's the excitement. Um, like I said, normally we have more people around on a Wednesday, but it's, uh, it's a slow day, so I don't know what's up with that. But we're going to start doing this every Wednesday. If you want to be a part of the show, just come on down. i got a seat right here for you. We'll talk about whatever's on your mind, whatever, whatever you're reading, what's new in uh, pop culture. By the way, have you guys seen that new Bloodshot trailer? Well, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm more interested. Um, Valiant's been breaking my heart lately, but it's, uh, I'm excited for the, for the movie. The comic is great. Um, and yeah, we've got our grand opening this weekend, this Saturday, coupled with Halloween Comic Fest. It's going to go from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. We've got artists, we've got free comics, we've got costume contests. Remember, you're going to get three free comics just for showing up. Get another one if you come in costume. Get another one if you bring a canned food item for donation. Got another one for donating a 24 pack or greater case of water. And you get another one for checking in with a picture on social media. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see you guys coming out here. Uh, Dave Whiteman wants a plug. Uh, do you need ACDC 110? What, what, what do you need? Um, and the evening of that, because um, that's only going to go until 3 o'clock, starting at 9 p.m., we're going to be having a Call of Cthulhu 7th edition, 7th edition, right? Oh, wait. I believe it's 7th edition of Call of Cthulhu. It is a tabletop role playing game. Um, and if you've never played, that's fine. Uh, it sounds like it's pretty easy to learn. And you're going to have character creation from 9 a.m. Sorry, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. The game starts at 10 p.m. and you have one. You have until 1 a.m. to survive. He's hopefully going to kill you and eat your soul. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the time we got for the day. I got to get back to it. It's 12:30. But thanks everyone for watching. All like eight of you. We appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're uh, I'm Harvey, and this has been Woody Reading. How do I? How do, oh, it's up there.
I don't have my lovely assistant to shut it off, so I'll get yeah.